Hey guys, welcome back. So I decided to try a new video today because I've been slightly addicted to watching these and I've purchased some things over the years from Amazon that I figured I could share with you guys. These are like my Amazon favorites, things I use almost every day. And then I'm going to show you some new items that I picked up that I cannot wait to use. One of them dropped. I was just making sure I had it. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to share some of my Amazon favorites with you and... It's mostly lifestyle stuff. There's no beauty in here other than like a somewhat kind of beauty thing. You'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what your must-have Amazon favorite is. Like what do you need in your life that you get from Amazon? I know some people shop groceries from Amazon. I don't know. I'm a little nervous to do that. Uh, but let me know like any electronics, lifestyle stuff. Like what is something that I'm missing in my life? So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know and if you want to see all of my Amazon favorites, then let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so let's start off with one of the things that's essential for me when I'm filming. This is like super basic to the point we're just going to talk about. It. It's a Canon charger for my Canon camera. I used to use those off name brand type of batteries, like something really quick and simple and cheap to put my camera to use to film. But one time I went to Best Buy, this was like years ago, but one time I went to Best Buy and I asked him if they had any extra batteries. He said no. And he was like, if you use like those cheap batteries that are not the Canon brand, they can mess up your camera, just FYI. So I was like, whoa okay I guess I need to go buy a Canon a Canon camera battery so that's exactly what I did I went and purchased one more Canon battery and I just go back and forth with one that I have so if you're filming I really recommend using the battery that is specifically for your camera it's more expensive but it's gonna work with your camera I don't know why the off-brand ones don't work well but honestly I ain't chance in it we're sticking with Canon batteries but I get mine off of Amazon it's really the only place I can find it Thank you, Mr. Best Buy man, for probably, I would much rather spend like $40 on a battery than buy another camera. I would want to cry. Next up, I just have like a random assortment of things. Oh, let's talk about this towel. This towel, I used to have one of these back in the day, and oh, girl, I have been missing out for these years. I have not had it. I think I got rid of it because it was just so old and grimy and just nasty. I saw one off of Amazon, and I was like, you know what? I want one of those. <laughs> it's just one of these like Velcro wrap around towels. And you know, just like when you're getting ready, when you need to dry your hair, but you want to keep a towel on because you don't want to be too hot. These are essential. You can still dry off your body with this, but then just wrap it around and Velcro it. It's like so nice. It is so nice. I've been using this nonstop since I got it, and I think I'm going to get another one because I just think they're essential. I might even give some for Christmas presents because I really feel like you don't know how much you love it until you have it. So anybody want one for a Christmas present? Because I'll get you one. They have a bunch of different colors. This is actually really nice and soft. It's a good quality towel. It's not like thin or scratchy or anything like that. I really like this one a lot. And it's come in really great handy. And I highly recommend it. Next up, I have this Velcro headband. These are great for taking off your makeup so you don't get water in your hair. But... These are really good for when you are not trying to wash your hair, so you put it up in a bun for the shower, um, and you put this on, and it just helps water not get right here on the nape of your neck and really hold all your hair up. It works so well. Like, I see the biggest difference when I use this. Um, like, around my hairline and stuff, I can go a little bit longer, like maybe a day or so, um, because the water doesn't get onto my scalp and, like, make it really gross. So I love putting this on before I get in the shower with my hair up in a bun, and it really keeps everything nice and dry. Before, I wouldn't use this. I would just really try to pull everything up and make sure it was out of my face, but I would always miss something, or I would get that water at the back of my neck. But this helps with that. It soaks up anything. It keeps everything completely dry, and I also love it for taking off makeup as well because, again, you don't get the water all up in your hair. And that's, like, the first place I will start to look super oily is around my face. So, yeah, I love this a lot. They come in, like, a pack of three to five. I can't remember, but I'll link them down below. I think they're pretty affordable, too, but you can just wash them in the washing machine and let them dry and they're good to go. Another thing is all of my extension stuff. If you have beaded in extensions like I do, mine are beaded like in the wefts. 
that didn't make any sense. I did vlog when my hairstylist put these in last time, but basically my extensions are a weft and she beads them into my hair. So they're not individual beads or anything like that that would take forever to install into my head. Um, and they're not tapins. So I have these beads in my hair. I live in New York. My hairstylist is in Atlanta. And I do go see her when I need them pushed up. But sometimes a bead will fall out and you're just like, well, do I go the next four weeks with this bead gone? Which this rarely happens, you guys. Like a bead rarely falls out. Um, but I've had one that was bothering me one time and I needed to replace it, but I needed a new bead to do that and it just wasn't working. So for those kind of situations, I went to Amazon. I was like, what if something happened where I needed another bead and I needed to fix something? I've even added in an extension and had Davis do it and that's why this has come in such great handy. So. I get my beads off of Amazon as well as like the little pliers and stuff. This is the brand. I think it's just, this it says something wigs on it. I don't know, but that's where I got my pliers. But that set also comes with a little like threading thing. So you can use this to thread your hair through the bead. And then this, I don't know, I think this is the same thing. I haven't used this yet, but we usually use this and then clamp the bead with this. But whatever it is, it all comes together. And then I also got the actual beads for your hair off of Amazon. And I just got the dark brown ones because that's the ones that my hairstylists use on me. And I tell you what, it's just a lifesaver. It's something where if I want to add an extra extension, I totally can. If I want to fix the bead, I totally can. I just watched the video on my vlog channel over and over again to watch how she does it. So then I can do it or Davis can do it. It just depends. Absolutely love getting these off of Amazon. They were pretty affordable as well. So if you have beaded extensions or something kind of like mine where you can fix them if needed, save a trip to the salon I would highly recommend picking them up so the next thing I want to mention to you guys this is not mine but it's something I bought for Davis and I think it looks really good he really likes it if your man loves more of like that rugged kind of watch look if that even makes sense I don't even know what you call this but if he loves that kind of big watch I guess athletic band kind of look Definitely get this one for him off of Amazon. It was pretty affordable too for an Apple Watch band. This one's the 42 Apple Watch. And all he did was take off the straps and then just put it in here. And it keeps it protected because it is raised. And it's literally rubber all the way around. So it keeps it protected, but then um, it looks really cool. Like you wouldn't guess it's an Apple Watch until you like went like this. It's just different, you know? I like it a lot. And then you have a lot of slots right here to adjust it to fit their wrist. I think this is a good looking Apple Watch band. I feel like it's so hard to find really good Apple Watch bands. <laughs> Definitely pick this up for your man if he loves this style. It's a good Christmas gift. This is good as a thank you gift or a I love you gift, whatever you want to do. Definitely check that out. I will have it down below. It was like $14.99 I think. Next up is something you guys have questioned me about because I, I don't remember what video I mentioned it in. But I mentioned that I got a wax warmer and I've been using it to wax myself. So this is the, this brand. <laughs> I think I just put in wax warmer or something. And this is what I got. I think it's just a basic wax warmer, but it does come with wax beads. I've mentioned this so many times before, but I used to get Brazilian waxes and stuff like that. And I get laser, but I get a bikini laser, kind of a Brazilian, but not the full thing. So um, this comes with hard wax beans. You don't want to use these when you wax your legs because it's really not going to take up any hair. Uh, but I do use these for a little touch up down there sometimes when you need it. You need it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I bought this just to have that because I hate shaving. I hate shaving. I hate shaving. I get the worst ingrown hairs. I get razor burn. It's just not the thing I like to mess with. I just got this for, you know, spot treating myself, I guess you could say. I don't do the whole entire thing at all. Um, I just do spot treatments really. So you have no idea how to give yourself a wax. If you have no idea what temperature to be on. If you have no idea anything about this, I would definitely do research or go get some waxes done a few times before you try doing a little bit on yourself. Like I said, I don't do the full thing. It says, ideal for removal of body and facial hair on all skin types. I can't tell you these are the best beads out there, but they do rip the hair out. Yeah, I really like it. It's just a good alternative to have it done at home. Again, if you're not used to being waxed down there 
or whatever, you really need to experience it before you try doing it yourself. Next up, we're going to talk about a couple fitness things that I got off of Amazon. I get so many questions about fitness and like what I do. Um, and I'm just going to show you a few things that I really like. This is the Slingshot Glute Belt. And I don't know if they call it the Glute Belt, but I call it the Glute Belt. I use it specifically for a leg day. Let me tell you, this amps up your leg day 15 times what it was. It is so good. I used to use these little small bands. Um, I would use like the heavy version of this. But for me personally, I feel like my legs are strong enough that I just needed more. This wasn't giving me what I wanted. I think I got this like a year ago or so. I've been putting this to work because it's like all broken up here. Um, I love this. My leg days would not be the same without it. It's such a tough band. If you're not used to bands in general, or if you're just starting to work your legs, I would probably wait to get this just because it is a very intense band. I mean, this is going to make you cringe, but it's good stuff. Look up YouTube videos on it. Um, this is great for glute activation. This is good for squats. I love this for hip thrust. This just makes me cry on hip thrust. <laughs> Get you nice and thick like these bands. So absolutely love this. Such a great product that I purchased. I do also love these little bands too. Um, they're the Fit Simply brand. I believe they're pretty much everywhere on Amazon. But I like these for arm day. I need to do a leg workout where I don't need that thick of a band. Then I will use like the extra heavy or the heavy band of this. They're just kind of all floating throughout my bag. So this one, yeah, this one's the extra heavy one. And I just have a bunch of different bands. Yeah, definitely get these two. You can start out with these and then work your way up to this. I love getting stuff like this off of Amazon because they're really affordable. And I like to see the reviews as well. And then the other thing that I absolutely love that I got off Amazon, um, I was so happy I got this because I would always wonder, like, why do gyms not have this more? And gyms probably have it, and you probably have to ask for it, but I'm just not that kind of person where I don't... When I'm in the zone, I don't want to socialize, so I don't like to ask for things. Having these makes life ten times easier, and I love these. These are the D-Moose Fitness ankle strap things, so these are great for cables. I love these for glute days as well. They're all I use it for, so basically all you do is undo that. So say, like, my arm is my leg, you loop it around and then you Velcro it, and then you can hook the cables to this, and your leg can do all these different exercises, and it's really good. It's great for kickbacks. It's great for, like, the side kicks as well. These are a must-have for my leg days. I just don't feel the same without them. If I had to, say, get anything workout-wise from this, it would totally be these two if you love working your glutes. These are amazing. This, I've actually had this brand of, well not brand, but I've had this style of laundry bags before. I've had them for years, like since I lived in my apartment days. I got them from some store that was like a discount store and I love them because they're like this cloth and they have this really nice handle that doesn't break. I have gotten, I swear to you, like four different hampers from TJ Maxx and it takes probably 12 hours and then all of a sudden the handles break on it because it can't handle the clothes that are in the hamper which is kind of crazy to me so it pisses me off <laughs> but the other ones that I have that are like this are like half the size so I saw this off of Amazon it's an extra large laundry bag so it's the same style that I love but just two of them and one and it has the same handles and I haven't had any issues with this so far it looks cute too it looks really cute. This, how can I forget this? Okay, if you make YouTube videos, you need this. If you want to start making YouTube videos, I recommend taking $10 and buying this because it makes a difference. This thing I got off of Amazon, which a lot of you have noticed recently, is a reflector. So without the reflector, this is what it looks like. It's really not bad, but then this really casts that light on me, so then you can see like the true color of my neck. It kind of brightens up my face. It just looks really good in video, so I just sit this down on my table and work on top of it, and it just makes a big difference in my quality of my videos. And it's really not that big. I mean, it's just a little, little reflector trying to do its job, and it's doing it well. So absolutely love this. I how much was this? This one was. $9.99, $10, you can't beat that. So this next part, I will have to insert a clip in here so you guys can see it, but the next thing that you need to purchase off of Amazon is the magnetic mesh 
door screen thing. There's an as seen on TV one that is sold literally everywhere. I think it's called like Magic Mesh or something. No, don't get that one. Get the one that is off Amazon because the quality is so good. My dogs run through that door, right? I mean, I'm not kidding. Rose is like blah, bursting through it. They go in and out all the time. All the magnets just go back together and no bugs get in ever. And it's so seamless with the door. Like you cannot get through. None of you little buggies can get through the sides. I mean, it's perfect. It is so much better than the Magic Mesh. I think it maybe is like five or six dollars more, but it is definitely worth it. Um, it's really holding up so well. Pick that thing. Up. This is like a phone holder and this is what I use for selfies in this room or I'll even take it outside and do selfies with it too. If you are in charge of your own selfie, this is a good thing to have so you can be hands free. This clamp can clamp to like whatever you want it to and then you can adjust this wire. I actually just use it before this video and clip your phone in here. If you have an 8 plus it will fit in here perfectly fine. Yeah, you can set it up to take your selfies. You can put your phone on timer mode. And it just works really well. I like that you can move this all around. It's not chunky like a tripod. I do have a tripod specifically for my phone. I know that's extra, but welcome to my job. But this is great to like travel with on the go if you want to get a cool shot, but you know, you don't have someone there to take it for you. Just find a little area where you can clamp this to and take your selfies. I will try to find this on Amazon. I think this was like the most random find I ever had. I bought this forever ago, but I use it so much. I almost hit myself in the face. Last thing I want to do is show you guys a little haul that I got from Amazon. So this is really, this is really nothing crazy special, but I'm excited about these. As you guys know, when you see this video, I'll probably be in Cabo or on my way to Cabo. <laughs> uh, but that's why I bought these two items right here. So this is the dirty laundry bag. Basically, it's just great to have for your dirty laundry. Every time I'm in a hotel, I'm trying to find like their like extra bag that they have so you can get your stuff dry cleaned or whatever. They usually have like a plastic bag that you can use. The last hotel we stayed at didn't have it and I was like, I really wish I had that. So I went on Amazon and I bought one and this is the one that I got. Um, it's pink so you're gonna know this is dirty. And it's nice and compact so you can just like unzip it and it turns into this really big bag. And I just like it a lot so must have for travel. And then I bought this because everyone keeps talking about packing cubes, right? I don't know if it's just me, but I don't see how these save space. I mean, we're going to figure it out. So this is the Travel Packing Cubes 6 set, and that's what it looks like right there. You see what I'm saying? Like, how does it save space? Is it just organized? I'm going to try it out. This wasn't that expensive, I don't believe, and everybody talks about it, and I wanted to test it out because I'm always looking to organize my stuff, you know, when I travel. I mean, usually by the end of the trip, I'm throwing everything in the suitcase because I really don't care. But on the way to my destination, I don't mind being organized. So we're going to see how these work out, especially for my upcoming trip. And then this is the last thing because I think I've just been missing out on this. So I have a dog seat cover already. Actually, I really don't need one for my Tahoe because I lay the seats down and the dogs have the entire back of the Tahoe. It's insane. Like, it's they have... A full-on bed back there it's crazy I saw this and I thought this would be great just for I mean short distances going to the groomers um, taking them to different places this would be great so this is waterproof machine washable um, it's heavy-duty material and the thing I like about this dog cover from the pictures it shows that you can put it up on the sides of your door that is huge huge because my dogs love to look out the window they'll take their little paws and start pawing at the sides of the doors and that'll leave scratches and things but this has flaps that go up on the sides of the doors most of the covers you see are covering the driver's seat and the passenger seat and then scooping down and then covering those two seats which is great but these add an extra layer on the sides for the doors so can't wait to use this gonna see how it works definitely will let you guys know but i saw it and i was like have to have it have okay guys so that is it for this Amazon video I really hope you enjoyed it I hope you found something new to try these are just my favorite things and I figured I would share them with you so if you did like it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you all in my next video bye